Okay, Monday night, definitely a later, later session than usual. And there's a bit of a reason for that. So today I had a few video consults. Monday's usually the wackiest day of the week for me because it's a day that I don't have any check-ins, but I do have like one off video consultations that are booked through my website. And I had a couple of people uh, misunderstand the time zone difference. It says specifically what time zone you're booking the, the appointments in, but they assumed it was their local time zone. So I had somebody from Dubai and somebody from Canada both assume it was their local time. And it was a bit of a bit of a cluster today, that's for sure, let's just say that. But um, in the end, everything got sorted. And now I'm finally at the gym, about to hit chest, side delts, and then a little bit of calves and yeah, maybe some abs, I'll see. I trained abs this morning after my faster cardio and they did start cramping up, unfortunately. I still haven't gotten to the bottom of what's causing them to cramp. I, I'm still going with my original hypothesis in that I think it is related to the muscles just being weak, the transverse abdominis particularly, and the, uh, and the rectus abdominis also being somewhat weak, but more so the transverse muscles, the, the deeper core muscles. Actually, I might put a little bit more in here because it's a pretty big session. I'll go two and a half scoops because that's about seven and a half grams of EAAs based on the little guide that you have on the, the bottle here. It's uh, kind of like a, uh, a legend like you use two for a mild energy level, four for a moderate energy level and six scoops for an intense energy level. Um, and it's five grams in the two scoops, 10 grams EAs in the four. So if I do two and a half to three scoops, it's technically seven and a half grams of EAs thereabout. And then six scoops will yield you 15 grams of EAs, but it's only like a one to one and a half hour session. So I don't need anything more than say five to 10 grams of EAs in my opinion. I don't really need any. I just like the taste of it. And it, like I said before, it makes it easier to drink the seven to eight liters of water a day that I'm aiming for. If I break it up and don't just drink all straight water. Got my GB energy drink too, just because it is quite late in the day. I think I'm gonna need this just to kind of kick me through that second half of the session. By the time I drink this, of course, start training, it'll probably hit my system about, I wanna say like 20 to 30 minutes in, because I haven't eaten for a few hours, so there's not gonna be a lot of food to interfere with the absorption of, of, this, uh, of this energy drink, so it should hit me pretty quick. And then yeah, once I get home, I've really got to clean the bathroom. Our bathroom has been filthy for the last few days, but you know when you've kind of got a job and you just keep putting it off, you, you tell yourself, oh, I'll, I'll clean it up tomorrow. And then tomorrow turns into the next day, and the next day, and the next day. And before you know it, it's been several days since you first said you were going to clean the bathroom. And that's very not like me, but I've been a little bit depressed the last week, just flat and for no real particular reason but I've just kept cracking on anyway. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think part of the reason why I haven't cleaned the bathroom is I've just felt so flat all week, but I'm gonna force myself to do it tonight, or at least start it tonight and finish it tomorrow. I've got all the cleaning products there, except for drain cleaner, I need to get drain cleaner. Because for some reason, it must be how the drains are built over here, but they're, they must be very shallow. Similar to how like if you, you live in a town home or a townhouse, the, the plumbing and the piping is so shallow because of the structure of the building it has to kind of basically be constructed that way. And I think it's similar with these condos here. So that would explain why they get blocked so easily because it's happened in every condo we've been in. And we've been in a handful of different condos in this same building since we moved to Thailand. So it's definitely not exclusive to the place we're living in it seems to be a bit of a trend, a bit of a pattern. So I have to find a drain cleaner. I've got granule or like powder drain cleaner at home, but I want to get the liquid one so it actually goes down into the drain, not just sit in the top of the drain. So I have to find some of that on the way home from the gym possibly, or go home, shower, get dressed, head to the shops and then get some. But yeah, that's the 
the evening sat so we can get through this session and get the bathroom cleaned or at least started and there's a little bit of work I still have to do tonight just finish writing up a bit of a training block for uh, a guy that's coming back on board uh, someone that I actually really enjoy working with uh, I prepped him for a men's physique show his first men's physique show and he's going to be making the transition to classic so we've got a, a big task ahead of us a lot of tissue to put on uh, we're going to try to do it as efficiently and as quickly as possible which isn't always I suppose the healthiest route but will keep yourself in check and yeah I'm, I'm excited to to work with him again we we gelled together really well last time so it's always good like that I always find well I don't want to say always because I'm sure there's probably somebody that hasn't come back on board with me but more often than not nine out of ten times when someone finishes up working with me they always come back to me and I think that says a lot about your service as a coach if you're a coach and you find your clientele return, your athletes return to you after taking a break or, or whatever it is, then that's usually a good sign that you're good at what you do. And yeah, but enough rambling. Time to smash this energy drink and get into the gym. It'll be calves, side delts, and then chest. Just because I wanna hit the weakest body parts first and chest, Honestly, I, I can train it whenever and it grows. I could do a full body session and have chest at the very end, and it'd still probably grow better than every other body part. So it's not a real concern for me to petition my chest toward the end of the session. No detriment there. Yeah, see you guys in the gym. So yesterday was a heavier day for calves, which means today is gonna be a lighter day. Same as I alternate back between the two, back and forth. I think I messed up the rep counting in that one. I think that was 16, but it could have been more. Just not too sure if I counted that set correctly. I'll have to watch the playback and figure out the reps. But two more to go. So this one, I'm definitely gonna make sure that I count the set correctly. Pay a little bit more attention to the reps. I think what was throwing me off on that first one while I lost count was I was looking at my feet and they weren't quite symmetrical. My left one was a little bit out to the side. So I would have been loading my right calf more than my left calf and that was just messing with my my head too much so to make sure that I set my feet correctly on this set so I don't get distracted by that
10 kilo dumbbells or what's that in pounds? Uh, 20, 22 pound dumbbells. A lot of people go way too heavy on these.
I'm going to go a little bit lighter on these today, do the, the higher rep range. Uh, my chest is still feeling a little bit tender actually from the last chest session now that I'm doing the movement. Like at rest, I don't really feel it because at rest, you're not really using your chest, I suppose. But on that warm up set, I definitely felt some, some doms on that, that eccentric, that stretch. So I'll, uh, I'll be careful. It's always easy to overdo it a little bit and potentially cause some sort of a strain muscle tear so you definitely want to listen to your body when you kind of feel that lingering soreness don't be scared and don't be a pussy like don't be hesitant to actually train hard but just ease into it if you have to do an extra warm set do an extra warm set of this six to ten reps and then on to decline press and after that dips to finish off oh. 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 <sighs> 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 
Okay, two working sets of decline press now and high rep range, hence why I've only got two plates instead of three aside. So 10 to 15 reps, focusing on a nice deep stretch. I'm gonna take a bit of a wider grip so I can intensify the, the stretch or the lengthening of the muscle, which will take away a little bit from the peak contraction at the top because if you wanna get a maximal peak contraction at the top of a press, you wanna have a closer grip ideally but I'm still going to get a good contraction, just not as intense as it could be. So yeah, focusing more on the stretch of the wider grip. And so I'll, uh, yeah, basically do that. <coughs> Actually, I think the seat's a little bit too high. There we go. That's the right setting. Fifteen reps. If I can get fifteen on the next set, next week I'll bump it up a bit. So I've got my thinking cap on today. I actually forgot that I've got three sets, not two sets of this. And I've also got three sets of dips, not two sets of dips. The volume was escalated last week and I completely forgot. So yeah, um, a little bit more to go than I expected. Better get on with it, get cracking on. Ooh. So apparently the dip machine is taken and it's been taken for quite some time. So I don't know if it'll be free after I finish this final set. And if it's not, I may substitute for something else. I really don't want to because I don't think there is any good substitute for a dip. Like when it comes to a press, you can substitute a machine press for a dumbbell, all that sort of jazz. But there isn't really a substitute for a machine dip. You can do a body weight dip, but I just really don't think it hits quite the same. I'm a big fan of a good quality, well-built machine dip. And when I say well-built, relative to the individual, like the machine is great for me and my structure. For somebody else, it might not be. In which case a body weight dip or free weight dip, I should say, not body weight, but free weight dip might be a more viable alternative, viable option. However, I find the Life Fitness pin-loaded dip to be fantastic. 
I can stay upright and really hammer the triceps or I can lean forward a little bit into it and really annihilate the pecs. So it's pretty versatile in that regard. And I, I just love it. I get a real good mind to muscle connection and it's, it's a lot safer for me. I find a free weight dip is a little bit too unstable for my liking. Definitely going two and a half plates next week. So these are feeling pretty good today actually. Sometimes they're a bit hit and miss, like depending on how I suppose hydrated I am, like as to whether or not my shoulders feel good. But yeah, today is surprisingly really, really good. Well, I shouldn't really say surprisingly, I've made an effort to stay hydrated and whatnot. Although, uh, one thing that I don't like about this machine, and it's not so much a fault of this machine, rather just this specific uh, version of this machine because the handles are just wearing a bit. It's just been used a lot. So the handles kind of, the rubber handles almost stretch off the, the metal handle, if that makes sense. The, the rubber encased around the handle that it is. That's what I mean. It's kind of ripping and whenever you use the machine, it almost feels like the handles are gonna slide and tear off and then you're gonna just ax yourself. So it's a constant thought in the back of your mind of like, okay, I've gotta grip these handles really tight so that I don't apply enough pressure to make the handles rip off and yeah, I don't know. It's a bit of a, bit of a mind fuck, but you get the job done regardless. So two more sets of these and then it's home time. Clean the bathroom, do a little bit more work. And um, yeah, then bedtime. Set of these but before I do it I thought I'd just touch a little bit on like how I like to approach chest training and what I recommend people do like focus instead on exercise selection or more on movements if that makes sense so when structuring your chest training or any any kind of body part training like training for any body part it applies to all body parts but because I'm talking about chest at the minute when structuring your chest training think more about what are the actions of the actual chest muscle and then how do I perform those actions under load? Because ideally at the end of the week or at the end of a training block, you wanna be ticking most if not all of the actions of a muscle if your goal is to prioritize and maximize growth in that area. So chest for example, you don't just wanna have presses or you don't just wanna have flies or you don't just wanna have presses and flies. You wanna have some sort of a, a dip or some sort of a pullover 
so you can hit basically every action or, or movement that the, the chest is involved in. I don't know if that makes much sense, but it should. So when I'm structuring my chest training, I'm not thinking, oh, I need a bench press or I need a machine press or I need a fly. I'm thinking, okay, what's training horizontal adduction? What's training shoulder extension? That sort of thing. And then I choose exercises that specifically load that movement. That's pretty much how I approach it. So that's why at the minute I've got some sort of fly variation in my training throughout the week. I've got some sort of dip and I've also got some sort of fly. Um, sorry, some sort of press. I think I said fly already. But yeah, that's why I've got a variety of different types of movements. And so when you substitute an exercise out, ideally you want to substitute for something that's targeting that same action of the muscle. So you wouldn't sub out a dip for a press if your goal was to load the chest the same way, if that makes sense. Food for thought.